welcome to my channel again i hope you all are fit and fine so in this particular video what we are going to do we will going to discuss about the point of difference between cellulose and lignin in the previous video we have discussed about the difference between cellulose and hemicellulose so you if if, if you have haven't watched that video you can go and check out those videos so yeah yeah there is a playlist for that as well so there is a playlist in my channel where i have put down all the differences that i have covered in the videos so this is a video regarding the difference between cellulose and lignin so let us start with the video so as we have discussed about the cellulose what is cellulose first of all we know that cellulose is a component of the cell wall of plant cells so the main substance which makes up the cell walls and the fibers of the plants is cellulose what about lignin where is lignin present an organic substance which act as a binder for the cellulose fibers adding strength and stiffness to the plant cell wall this is what we call lignin what is the role of lignin it act as a binder for the cellulose fiber binder means it helps in joining the cellulose fibers and adding the strength and stiffness to the plants to the plant cell wall sorry and if we talk about the monomer monomer means what cellulose is composed of so monomer is monomer is d glucose d glucose combines and form the cellulose now what is this d glucose there are two these are two basically two stereoisomers of the glucose this is a d glucose this is a l glucose so when you put a polarized light when we pass a polarized light through the d glucose or the l glucose when we pass it through the d glucose it will rotate it in the right side or we can say that clockwise side like this and if you pass light through if you pass the polarized light through the l glucose it will rotate it in the opposite direction in the anti clockwise direction or we can say that the left direction so this is the basic difference between d glucose and l glucose these are the two stereoisomers of the glucose and this d glucose rotates the light in the clockwise direction and l glucose rotates the light in the anti clockwise direction and d glucose is the monomer for cellulose and what about lignin there are so many monomers like para comeryl alcohol is one of the monomers then coniferyl alcohol and cyanophyll alcohol all of these are the monomers means all of these combines and form lignin and this poly this is cellulose is a polysaccharide polysaccharide means it consists of polysaccharide poly means many saccharides many sugar molecules saccharide means sugar so glucose is a sugar and polysaccharide means many glucose molecules so this is cellulose is a polysaccharide while this lignin is a phenolic polymer phenolic means it consists of alcohol compounds this coniferyl alcohol cyanophyll alcohol poly this para comeryl alcohol so basically this is known as phenolic polymer made up of phenolic compounds and it is a straight chain polymer means cellulose is like this a straight chain polymer while it is a irregular polymer and the main component of the primary plant cell wall cellulose is the main component of primary cell wall and if you talk about the lignin it occurs as a thickening of the secondary cell wall of the fibers and vessels of the plant uh, of the vascular tissue now vessels and fibers of the vascular tissue means is it related to xylem or phloem is it is related to xylem basically the xylem fibers and xylem vessels so this of the vascular tissue it is present in the thickenings of the secondary cell walls of the xylem fibers and xylem vessels of the vascular tissue next point is cellulose makes up the cell wall of the plant cells yes and it provides a rigidity to the plants yes lignin provides the rigidity to the plants and it constitutes 90% cotton fiber and 40 to 50% of the wood and 57% of the dried hemp while lignin is mainly occur in the wood and in the bark so wood means wood means xylem wood, wood, what is wood wood is basically this is the secondary xylem and we have already discussed here it is present in the thickenings of the secondary cell wall of fiber and vessels so it is mainly occur in the wood and the bark and the last point is cellulose only the gut of the ruminant animals can digest the cellulose while lignin is totally indigestible lignin is not digestible and the cellulose is digested by the ruminants in the example is a cow so these are the few point of difference between cellulose and lignin hope the point of difference are clear to you and if you want more such differences you can 
tell me in the comment section i'll i'll discuss i'll explain those differences in the next videos thank you so much for watching this video stay healthy stay fit we'll meet you in the next video thank you bye